Ferrari driver Charles Leclerc charged his way to pole position for the Monaco Grand Prix with a stunning qualifying display on home soil, getting the better of McLaren rival Oscar Piastri and Ferrari teammate Carlos Sainz in Saturday's all-important grid-deciding session. Leclerc avoided any slip-ups to safely make it through Q1 and Q2 before unleashing his full potential in Q3, where he provisionally posted a time of 1 meter 10.418s and then bettered it with an electric 1 meter 10.270s a target none of his rivals could beat. Piastri got closest to put his McLaren a fine second, ahead of Sainz and teammate Lando Norris, while reigning world champion Max Verstappen had to settle for sixth after hitting the wall at saint Devote on his final qualifying lap. It means the Dutchman's run of successive pole positions comes to an end, having claimed the previous eight in a row and drawn level with Ayrton Senna in the all-time list, and leaves him with plenty of work to do on race day. Mercedes drivers George Russell and Lewis Hamilton will sandwich Verstappen on the grid in 5th and 7th respectively, as RB's Yuki Tsunoda, Williams's Alex Albon and Alpine's Pierre Gasly all start to reach Q3. Esteban Akan could not match the pace of teammate Gasly as he narrowly missed the Q2 cut en route to 11th in the second of the Alpine machines, while recent qualifying star Nico Hülkenberg had to settle for 12th after briefly leading the way in the early minutes of Q1. Dot. Mirroring Akan's experience. Daniel Ricciardo could do no more than 13th and had to watch Sonoda lead RB's charge in the pole shootout, as Aston Martin's Lance Stroll and the other Haas of Kevin Magnussen completed the Q2 order. A dramatic first qualifying phase, which brought several traffic-related incidents and plenty of squabbling for track position, claimed two big names in the form of Fernando Alonso and Perez, who will line up back in 16th and 18th respectively for Sunday's Grand Prix. Logan Sargent is set to start between the aforementioned Aston Martin and Red Bull drivers in his Williams, while Kick Sauber's weekend at the back of the field continued with Valtteri Bottas and Joe Guanyu ending qualifying as the slowest runners. After three busy practice sessions in which home hero Leclerc marked himself out as the favorite for pole, it was time for arguably the most important qualifying hour of the season to begin, with clear skies and warm temperatures greeting the field. With race day track position vital around the tight and twisty streets of Monte Carlo, all drivers bar the Ferraris promptly headed out to get a provisional lap time on the board in attempt to secure safe passage from Q1 to Q2 traffic being at its worst in the opening phase. Once every driver had at least one flyer to their name, Hulkenberg held P1 from Haas teammate Magnussen on a 1 meter 12.416s, followed by McLaren pair Norris and Piastri. The RB of Sonoda, Verstappen's Red Bull, Stroll's Aston Martin and practice pace setter Leclerc. Times soon tumbled as drivers built up confidence and track conditions improved, though, bringing a 1 meter 11.81s from Piastri during the second flurry of runs, as the stewards noted potential impeding incidents between Sainz and Albon and Ricciardo and Bottas. This is the worst position. We are out of phase with everybody. Leclerc lamented at this point, holding a lowly 12th after being one of the last to leave the pit lane. While Piastri continued to lead from Hamilton, Russell, Sainz, Verstappen, Gasly, Alonso, Akan, Stroll and early pace sitter Hülkenberg. The closing minutes brought one final sequence of laps on more soft tires, with the out-of-sequence Leclerc kicking things off by going quickest via 1 meter 11.653s, before Russell brought the benchmark down to a 1 meter 11.492s, only marginally slower than the best seen in FP3. There was drama elsewhere as Norris and Perez, struggling to get clean laps in, slipped down the order and towards the drop zone, but while the McLaren driver pulled a time out of the bag after the checkered flag, the Red Bull man could not and he suffered a shock Q1 exit. As the final laps came in, Russell remained fastest with his mid 1 meter 11s attempt from Piastri, Hamilton, Sainz and Leclerc, with Albin a high-flying 6th for Williams, Verstappen making it through in 7th and Gasly, Stroll and Norris rounding out the top 10 positions. There was another exhilarating rush of times as the clock ticked down and the checkered flag came out, with Norris going from a near miss in Q1 to top in Q2, as Verstappen went a mere 0.013 as slower Ricciardo, Magnussen, Sonoda and Hülkenberg all made it through in the RB and Haas machines, while Akan squeezed his way into the second segment at the expense of former teammate Alonso, who was another surprise name to fall at the first qualifying hurdle. Sargent slotted between Alonso and Perez in the other Williams, with Bottas, following his FP3 crash, and Joe, after his brush with the barriers on Friday, bringing up the rear on what has been a challenging weekend for the Kicksalber team. 
After a short break, the qualifying action resumed and Verstappen caught the eye by producing the fastest time of the weekend so far, pumping in a 1 meter 11.196s at the start of Q2, only for Sainz to go even quicker just a few moments later on a 1 meter 11.177s. Verstappen went for it again and posted a 1 meter 11.019s next time around, putting him back in P1 from Sainz, and inspired Sonoda and Akan, despite the latter hitting some traffic. Before Piastri, 1 meter 10.756s. And then Norris, 1 meter 10.732s. Lit up the timing screens to form a McLaren 1 2. To split the McLarens, and Leclerc wound up fourth. Gasly delivered a sublime final lap to put his Alpine up in fifth, ahead of Mercedes pair Russell and Hamilton and the other Ferrari of Sainz, as Sonoda and Albin grabbed it. Could not build on their early Q1 pace and lost both cars at the Q2 phase with Hulkenberg winding up 12th and Magnussen back in 15th, while the RB of Ricciardo and Aston final spots in the top 10 shootout, Akan just missing out on joining his French teammate. Haas Martin of Stroll were the other drivers to drop out of proceedings. Hamilton was the first to make a move as the eagerly anticipated Q3 phase arrived, setting the initial benchmark on a 1 meter 10.975s, before Leclerc smashed that time with a 1 meter 10.418s despite reporting over the radio that, Something moved in the pedals. Piastri slotted into second, just 0.026s at drift of Leclerc, with Verstappen a couple of tenths back in third, Sainz holding fourth over Russell, Norris and Albin, and Hamilton falling from that provisional P1 all the way back to eighth from Gasly and Sonoda. During the final laps to the checkered flag, Leclerc turned the screw once more to lower the benchmark to a mighty 1 meter 10.270s ensuring that none of his rivals could take the top spot away from him and earning him a third pole on his home streets after 2021 and 2022. Piastri beat the sister Ferrari of Sainz to P2, with Norris fourth, Russell fifth and Verstappen down in sixth amid continuing track-specific struggles. Replays also showing him tapping the wall at the exit of St. Devote during his final lap. Hamilton was seventh aboard the second of the Mercedes cars, slotting in front of a midfield squabble between Sonoda, Albin and Gasly who all did well to reach the final phase and see out the remainder of the qualifying session. 